Today, I'll be butchering an Italian dessert named Tartofu, or Tartufo. I'm butchering everything today. Okay, so to start with for this recipe, I'm gonna get two different kinds of ice cream. I'm gonna do chocolate and vanilla. I think it's usually like the traditional one. I'm gonna get one spoon for each. And I'm gonna do my bottom layer is gonna be chocolate. So I'm using a muffin tin because I need a mold uh, for the tartofu. I'm going to make a hole here and then I'm gonna fill that with a uh, jelly or a jam. And here I have a homemade jam my mom made from uh, muscadine grapes in our yard. I've been waiting for the perfect recipe to use this for. And it's gonna be the star of our tartofu. So just gonna put that right there in the pocket. And I'm just gonna add a little walnuts, just for fun. <laughs> I'm gonna top it now with vanilla ice cream. This is the second layer. I'm just gonna even this off. Try and make it flat if you can. And I put it in the freezer. We'll let this solidify while we start the other process. So. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm sure you noticed the boiling pot of water behind me. Nope. Maybe you didn't. What we're gonna use that for is we're gonna melt our chocolate. Now we're not going to put it into the, the pot directly. We don't wanna put direct heat on it. I've read like the best way to melt chocolate is to put it in a pot above a boiling pot of water. So I'm gonna put this pot here I'm gonna break this bar of chocolate off into here. And it's just gonna slowly melt our chocolate because we got like indirect heat going here. And apparently if you have like a darker chocolate, the more, the higher the percentage of dark chocolate in chocolate, it will make it melt quicker. So if it's more milk chocolate, it won't melt as quickly as a pure dark chocolate will. Look how quick that is, that's awesome. That's every kid's dream is to just tear into a bar of chocolate like that. So awesome, that's just so quick. That's what she said. There we go. So disclosure, you might've noticed earlier, but I did these two uh, earlier and put them in the freezer so I could do this more quickly. Get a knife and I'm gonna try and pry this out of the mold as best I can. All right, I'm gonna flip it. Ooh. Let's see if I can do better on this one. Oh, it's, it's already pretty melted. Ugh. Now this recipe, I haven't practiced at all before, so this is gonna be fun. Dang it, I keep puncturing the bottom. Cry as much as you can, try and get this back together. It's not too hot. I guess let's try it on the first one, see if it melts the, the ice cream. Because what we want to happen is we want to encase it in the chocolate. Yeah, I think this will hopefully shield the ice cream. The ice cream is just kind of like instantly hardening the chocolate a little bit. Uh-oh. Ah! This one's... This one's working at least for now. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Make it stop. This is why we practice recipes edited before filming them. I'm gonna keep pouring ice uh, chocolate on it until it stops. I know what you're thinking now. How do we get the bottom of the ice cream? I have no clue. Get the door. Get the door. <laughs> oh, wait, I wonder if I had space in the freezer for that. Again! Again. Oh. Alright, I'm just gonna leave it in there um, forever. <laughs> this will never see the light of day. No, it probably will. We're starved for content here. Alright, so it's been about five minutes. I think the, uh, the chocolate and the ice cream has solidified a little bit. 
So I dare to take it off the sheet now. All right, here we go. If this doesn't work, I cry. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm afraid. <laughs> How do I lift this? Uh, I'm just gonna go for it. No. It's lifting off the chocolate. No. <laughs> just stand there, help me. Huh. Perfect. <laughs> no trouble at all. There was never any doubt. All right, here we go. <laughs> it's supposed to cut in half. <laughs> all right, time to dig in. <laughs> Let's see if I can find the jelly in here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Mm. And it's good. There's there's not much to mess up here, other than, other than what I did. You know, ideally, you want to stay in this nice little ball, and then you can like cut it in half for that pretty cross section. It'll still taste the same, but um, you know, you can't serve it at your dinner party and not have people laugh at you like this. Like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see me cry.